um, PewDiePie basically uploaded this video today. And in the video, yeah, him and Marcia yeah, are like walking around, you know, like enjoying Japan. And uh, while I'm watching it, especially like I'm trying to like, I guess not remind myself that like Marcia is pregnant right now. Not because of like anything bad or anything like that. It's just, it's just so surreal. That, like I, I kind of like don't want to remind myself that Peter Pie is getting old, Marcia, I am as well. Like I, I literally grew up watching these people, and uh, you know, congrats to them. Peter Pie, I would say, is like one of the most successful people on the entire planet. Like throughout his run, he basically was the biggest independent YouTuber, and I think he even might be still. I don't really constantly check it, but you know, it's depressing. It's literally so depressing to me. <laughs> that things are not the same am i the asshole <laughs> i first watched pewdiepie's videos when uh, where he was like constantly playing horror games and i really love that and i think the closest thing that we have to that pewdiepie is cory x Kenshin right now but e even he is not really like doing youtube constantly and you know i have this like yearn this hunger for quality content. PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, and Markiplier, they were so free back in the day. I remember when they were playing prop hunt, scary games, and constantly enjoying themselves, or when they were like collabing in real life. It was a beautiful place. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have to cut this part of the video and continue from here because this video was really weird to edit, even though I was only supposed to talk about PewDiePie mainly. But I sidetracked so much that this video was just me yapping. Even though I had some good message behind this video and I was planning this to be like a really great video. I got off track. So I want to summarize all the parts that I caught. There was this one part where I was talking about how men are better than women when it comes to managing stress. And that's why men make better leaders, both professionally and personally. There was this one other part where I was talking about how YouTube is terrible at uh, communicating with their community. There was this another part where I was comparing YouTube to TikTok and all these other platforms, even Rumble. And I was saying like, oh, maybe I even may switch to Rumble in the future if YouTube doesn't treat me right or something like that. There was this like very, very, very long part where I was like roasting Ludwig. I don't know. There was too many topics that needed to be cut because the point of this video was to just honor PewDiePie. Even at this time, which that video originally was recorded in March 2023, PewDiePie was slowly leaving YouTube and was in a state where he only uploaded videos whenever he wanted to. I think he might even be editing his own videos now. You never know. And I just wanted to do a video where he would be remembered well and respected like the man deservedly needs to be. Because when you think about it, PewDiePie tried to do so much for the community. He did a lot of charity streams, which thankfully I think gone well. On top of that, he worked with a lot of companies that actually weren't like extremely overpricing their partnered merch with PewDiePie and, you know, gave a lot of people access to good quality merch at affordable prices and some way somehow even increase some people's life's quality. He tried to create a machinima rival called Maker. But because of the controversy that PewDiePie had, he got like fired or kicked out of Maker. He was doing a lot of charity streams back in the day now that I remember. But I feel like all the controversies and everything that PewDiePie had, I remember every month, PewDiePie would be like, accused of something huge like twice thrice like a lot of times and the guy was just like so tired of it and you could see it in his videos it was just painful to watch him in his later stages of youtube so i'm glad that he's leaving because of that so that he could live a comfortable life the guy deserved it 100 percent i don't know if i reflect it but at the time of me recording the original video i was kind of thinking oh pewdiepie didn't actually do anything for the platform but like if i like sat down and like thought about this type of stuff I would have been like oh yeah he did a lot when you think about it even way 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 before the whole gaming genre shaped itself around PewDiePie's amnesia gameplays and Happy Wheels gameplays people learned where to put their face cams people learned how to edit certain videos and stuff like that the guy literally created the template for YouTube gaming videos and I'm just so thankful because my content revolves on gaming and you know obviously like everybody else on this platform that is into gaming I take inspiration from PewDiePie's content. I even grew up with PewDiePie's content, man. I was watching a lot of like terrible YouTubers back in the day that were copying PewDiePie. And uh, some way, somehow, since they mentioned PewDiePie a lot, I was like, oh my God, let me check out the shitty creator. So I finally checked out PewDiePie and I was like, oh my, 
oh my god this guy's like the best thing that has ever happened so that's when i became a fan of him and you know that's where it started that's where that's where bad x-man became kickstick what do you guys think about pewdiepie positive negative do you think he is retiring too early just anything just write in the comment section let's talk about it or go to my discord server and let's talk about it even more deeply it's up to you just interact with me i love interacting with you guys it might seem like a cliche youtuber thing to say but i really do like the video if you do actually like it, and uh fuck it dislike it if you didn't I'm okay with it. It's your opinion. Share it. Free speech on my channel. I don't ban you unless you spew out lies or something like that. Which obviously I can't keep because people will be like, Oh, Kickstick, somebody wrote this in this video. Is this true? Is this true? Obviously, I'm going to delete comments that are saying bunch of fucking lies because I did have those. Someone literally called me terrible, terrible things. That was just not true. So, you know, maybe not free speech, but like a good speech. I, I don't know. And uh, oh, also, starting from this video and continuing with the future videos, I'm going to put credits at the end of the video because I want to attribute the content that I used in my videos. But putting in the description would be really long and people wouldn't check the descriptions if I put them as text in the descriptions. So at the end of the video, there's going to be some credit rolls that are going to show every single creator and their content that I used. So we're slowly improving with the content. Yeah. Love y'all. Take care. See y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.